The soup is really fantastic. Hi, and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking tonjiru, or Japanese style ABC soup that you can cook in under 30 minutes. So let's start cooking. We are proud to announce our collaboration with Pots and Pans Culinary Studio. Our local Chinese delight course features 10 of our dearest recipes for you to learn hands-on at Pots and Pans Culinary Studio. The experienced trainers here at Pots and Pans are prepped and ready to share with you the offline experience of our dishes. Join us in our exclusive local Chinese delight culinary course. Sign up with the link below or scan our QR code. See you there! Now we'll fry our pork belly first. Heat up your pot, adding just a little bit of oil, not too much. I have with me over here 200 grams of pork belly, sliced very thinly. These are the kind of uh, sliced that they use for sukiyaki or for a hot pot. Just put everything in. We need to fry them up first, get the fats out from the pork so that it will taste better. I'm using medium heat right now. Now, of course, if you don't take pork, for a Muslim friend, you can always change this to chicken. Right. Fry them until you cannot see any redness. Move them around. This will render the fats out and make the soup very nice. You can use medium heat or medium low heat, no problem. Once you don't see any redness on the pork, we add in our onions. One whole yellow onion, kanju sizes like this, put everything in. You just need to soften the onions a little bit to bring out the fragrance. You just move them around so that the onion will get contact with the pork too. This dish is extremely easy to put together. You just need to know when to add in what and it's extremely delicious. Right, as you can see, the onions are getting very shiny right now. All these are from the fats rendered from the pork belly. This dish is going to be so good. Once you can start to smell the beautiful fragrance from the onions, we add in our vegetables. We add in 100 grams of carrots, sliced thinly like this. Not too thick because carrots needs a little bit more time to cook properly. And we are not cooking the soup for too long. 200 grams of radish or daikon, cut slightly thicker because this gets soft pretty fast. Put everything in first. Mix everything up well again. Just want the daikon and the carrots to have contact with the fats rendered from the pork belly. Just a short while will do. Okay, now we add in water. We add in two liters of water. Now, if you are using daishi stock, then you do not need the chicken stock cube. All right, you can use chicken stock cube or you can use chicken stock or daishi stock, no problem at all. I'm using two pieces of chicken stock cube. Just put everything in, give it a light stir. We'll put the lid on and wait for this to come to a boil. I'll see you back in a while. Once the soup comes to a boil, we'll add in our potatoes. 300 grams of potatoes, cut into small chunks like this. Put everything in. Add in 100 grams of gobo, or otherwise known as burdok, huai san, or san yao. Slice thinly like this. Now remember when you prepare this, before you peel off the skin, make sure you wear a pair of gloves, otherwise your hand will get very itchy. To get rid of the harshness in taste, please soak them in water too. Alright, just put everything in. Now we'll put the lid on, turn the heat down to low, and we'll let this slowly stew for 20 minutes. I'll see you back in a while. We've been cooking the soup for 20 minutes. Wow, smells beautiful. Now we need to mix in the miso. I'm using white miso over here, 120 grams. Add in a little bit of soup first to the miso so that it's easier for you to mix it up. Just a little bit will be fine. Don't add in the miso too early, otherwise it will lose its flavor. Just slowly mix it around. It's easier to mix it this way. Of course, at home, don't do what I'm doing right now over the hot soup. You can place it down on your table and you can slowly mix this up. Now the amount of 
miso that you are using will depends on the water and what kind of miso you're using. So start with a small amount first and slowly add it in. I reckon 120 grams for 2 litres is about right. right. So something like this will be good. When you take it out, there's hardly any miso that you can see. So pour everything in. A little bit more soup just to wash all this down. Now we'll turn the heat up to medium and let this come to a boil first. Give it a light stir. Now while waiting for this to come to a boil again, we'll just give this a little taste. Wow, delicious. Look at how beautiful this is. Golden color. Beautiful. This is what we want. Now of course, you can serve the spring onion separately when you're serving individual portion, but just to show you how it looks like with the spring onion. Um, I'm using the small, or rather the thin spring onion. You can use the bigger one if you can find them. Just turn off the flame and put in a good amount of spring onions. And ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our lunch. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Wow, very, very nice miso kind of fragrance coming out from here. Let's just give this a taste. Oh, the soup is really fantastic. Potatoes. Mmm. Very, very creamy. Give me this any time of day with a bowl of steamed rice and I'll be a happy man. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video, do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. And now it's your turn to cook. See you, bye bye. Wow.